All right, rather than talk about the syllabus and all that silly stuff, uh, we're going to talk about stuff that actually matters in pharmacology, and that's this story right here, which is where we begin. Uh, so take some time over the course of the semester and remember uh, the cover of the book and the artwork on La Lima, and remember we began right here. The demigod Maui and his goddess mother Hina lived near Rainbow Falls in Hilo on the island of Hawaii. And Hina would make kapa from the bark of the wake and mamaki tree, and the strips would be dyed with magnificent designs to form cloth. The kapa, however, would still be damp when night fell, and Hina would lament that the sun moved too quickly across the sky to dry the cloth. Upon hearing this, the demigod Maui traveled to the island of Maui and climbed to the 10,000-foot summit of Haleakala, where the sun was asleep in the giant crater. Maui hid until morning and watched the sun begin his daily journey, and as the first ray of sunshine appeared, Maui snared the sun with his lasso of twisted coconut fiber. The sun demanded to be released, but Maui would not let go. Promise that you will move more slowly across the sky, he told the sun, and left with no choice. The sun struck a bargain with the daring demigod. The sun would move more slowly for six months out of the year and then move at his preferred pace for the other six months. Compromise. Agreeing to this, Maui hurried home and told his mother the good news. As a reward, Hina made her son a new cape, and sure enough, it dried in one afternoon. <laughs>